All right, so check this out. <clears throat> I do uh, drone mapping, and this is the software that I end up rendering the drone mapping on. Um, this is about 80 some odd acres that I've mapped. Um, <clears throat> it's not exactly the borders of my property. Mine kind of runs up this way and over here, um, but I just did a really quick flight. Um, took about 24 minutes to map um, 80 some odd acres. Uh, so this is the 2D map. Um, you can see the level of detail on it. Uh, we'll zoom in on someone else's property where I don't have as much of a mess. <laughs> so you can see I can get in pretty tight on this stuff before it starts kind of becoming a little bit pixelated. Um, but overall, very, very acceptable <coughs> uh, mapping capabilities. But it doesn't end with this. This is impressive just on its own uh, with as little time as it took took to map it. I can also decrease the opacity of the of the map so that you can see the underlying map, which is Google Maps, uh, to see the, the accuracy of the data in the overlay. I can also overlay it with uh, several other different map types. Um, this is just one map type using the Google Maps. Uh, if I come out <coughs> and fly your property, you're looking at about 100 acres um, on a flight. Um, anything more than that, I'm gonna, I've got to come down and change the batteries out. Um, so if you think about it that way, you know, we're looking at about 100 acres an hour um, to give you an idea of how long it takes to, to map a property. Uh, once I get the property mapped, the, photo, the photos taken, I take them back then and I render them in the software. And uh, what I end up coming out with is a, a map similar to this. Um, it's actually a really big map size. Um, if I click on it, you can see these are the different, the different things that I can do. Uh, so um, I can give you a, a view like this. That's what this top map is. Um, I can do a surface model, point cloud. There's several different map types and things you can do. But out of the box, uh, basically what I would provide with the service is I'd provide the 2D map. Um, and then we can also do the 3D map in a couple different, uh, in a couple different formats. So um, this is the 3D map. Uh, it's pretty impressive. You can see the trees and all that stuff. Um, if I zoom in, <coughs> um, I've got the grid showing on part of this, so that's you're seeing the mesh. Um, I, I can turn that off. But what we would do on the 3D map is any areas that you wanted 3D imagery of, um, we can just take some snaps at the different angles for the different things that you would want to see. Um, and then we'd include those snaps in the... Uh, in the output. These images are really big that come out of this thing. So if you want it sized to a particular size or at a certain angle, I can do that as well and provide that as a service. So um, uh, we can do different map type overlays. Let's say you've got a plat of the uh, plat map of the property. We can do a uh, <coughs> an underlay of the plat map so that you could uh, adjust the opacity on the 2D view and see the plat map underneath as one example. Um, Let's see, uh, there are some different kind of filters that I can add if I go back to the 2D view. Um, I can do a, uh, surface model map. So it's basically gonna show your terrain. Um, kind of shows you the high and, high and low spots. You can see the trees, you can see the pond is lower. Um, so it's uh, just a different type of view turn that back to the regular view here. And then we can export this in, in many different ways. Um, the exports for 100 acres, it's about six, 300 to 600 megabytes, depending on uh, what features we turn on. Um, anyway, uh, this is just a, a sample of, of what can be done. Um, <coughs> Pretty darn impressive when you look at it, though. Uh, there is a little bit of motion blur on some of the back ends of the trees. If the w We definitely want to pick a day when the wind's not blowing really strong because what you'll end up with is um, you'll see some kind of ghosting behind some of the trees that are higher altitude. You know, like you can see the top of this tree looks kind of stretched at the top. It's not bad. Uh, this is where somebody has dumped some trash on the property. 
nice that uh, all that detail shows. Uh, let's see. Let's zoom into a couple different spots on here. <coughs> something in particular. These are the different trails that are going all throughout the property. Uh, this is my one of my deer and hog feeders. And you can see the ground is all messed up there from where they've been digging around. That's past the, uh, the point of the map though. That's why it's darker on the other side of the line. So anyway, I will continue the mapping. Um, I'll map it again being more accurate. I, I got more on the other side of the street where the neighbors live instead of uh, from my property line up, but that's okay. Uh, this was just a test flight. Um, pretty cool detail on the pond. Um, there's a bunch of this was out of the water during the winter. Uh, I got a couple boats laying over here, one turned upside down up on the bank. Um, pretty impressive. So anyway, I could come out your, to your place, we can look at it. Um, like I said, it's gonna be about 100 acres an hour. So you can get an idea of the number of hours it's going to cost. Uh, we can negotiate on the rate per hour for that mapping period. And then the post processing, which is the actual map creation. Um, understanding that at <coughs> it took almost a day, uh, just during the day hours. So about probably eight hours it took about, nah, it's probably like four or five hours, four or five hours to render uh, 88 acres. So if we're looking at something like 10,000 acres, obviously we're looking at, uh, you know, <coughs> looking at about uh, uh, about 30 minutes, I guess. Yeah, probably about 30 minutes for 100 acres um, of uh, mapping time. So that, that time you would pay for um, because I would be on site actually working. I'd bring multiple batteries and just fly the whole mission. Um, if it's an extremely large uh, piece of property, it may take... Uh, a couple of days, a few days, maybe even to map it. Um, it could take up to a week to process the, uh, the different map images and they're gonna be really big. So we can resize them down. Um, I'll make them downloadable to you or I can bring them over to you on a, on a removable media like a flash drive or something along those lines. Um, but uh, yeah, if you uh, wanna get a hold of me to talk about a mapping mission, uh, you can get a hold of me at uh, trophy.fish. That's my website. Um, you can contact me through there, and I'll get back with you, and we can uh, try to do some business. You could also email me at scott, S-C-O-T-T, dot bursick, B-U-R-S-I-K, at gmail.com. Uh, another good way to get a hold of me. Uh, I am a licensed drone pilot, so the work that I'm doing, I am able to charge for legally since I am licensed. Um, I also... Uh, own the, the business name of Trophy.Fish Outdoors. Um, so uh, everything's on the up and up there. Um, and uh, that's about it. So uh, give me a shout.